Hello. Two possible things that can help people with 40, 90s, maybe even 40, 80s. If you have a motherboard with external temp uh, sensors, uh, I have one with two. I have one that goes into the fins that controls the case fans. For when this gets warm, it tells the case fans this. The other one is a, a different one. I bought it because of how it is. It's paper thin, and when you push this cable in, there's a tiny little gap at the back of it that raises up with the clip. And this literally just sits in there. It doesn't push it, it doesn't stop it, it doesn't interfere with it before anybody says anything. There's a little gap there and it literally just slots in there. And when it sits there, it touches the plastic. Now, the best thing to do, for, well, I just did for myself, is I played Cyberpunk for an hour and I monitored the temperatures it got up to and it got up to 55 on there. So what I'm going to do in the BIOS is I'm going to have these side fans run at a set speed, but if it goes to 58, I'm gonna have them go to absolute full speed, which you'll be able to hear a mile away, and that'll tell me that this is 58, this is hotter than it was on Cyberpunk, this needs looked at. Now, there'll be more experiment to come to this, but this is just a rough beginning for this. And in theory, when this is obviously generating heat on the outside, it's going to be hotter on the inside. Um, but it will obviously draw your attention to it. That's one way you can do it. If you don't have the temp sensors, there's another way. And I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. This is HW Info. Um, you can get it to start with your PC, uh, boots up. But if not, you might just want to check it every time you play a game. Um, basically, what you're looking for, if I can close this down, which is why you need three hands. Um, I was on Cyberpunk. Uh, this normally sits at 12.3, 12.2 with the, the voltage. Um, Cyberpunk took it down to 11.9, that's fine. Um, what you want to do is come to this and highlight it. And then you want to go down to the alert part. Now I've set it to enable alerts, uh, play a sound, on-screen warning. And I've set it to 11.7 at the moment, but I'll change that to 11.8. And then OK. So what will happen is, when you're on the computer and it hits uh, 11.8 or drops below that, it's going to give you a bit of a warning and that's worthwhile looking at. Reason being is that from what I gather, uh, if you start hitting like 11, 7, 6, 5, and 4, again, it's going to massively dis obviously differentiate between uh, the quality of your PSU as well. Some of them will fluctuate more than others. But if it's a massive swing between, say, 12, 2, 12, 3, and you're dropping down to something like 11, 5, 11, 4, that is not good, and uh, that's when melting usually occurs as well. So this is one of the things that we're on about the adapters, is whether it's causing resistance and it's interfering with this. But again, it's people with more tech-minded than myself. But anyone can do this. You can install this HW uh, Info 64. Well, I'm using the HW Info 64, and you can set this as an alarm, um, and it's worthwhile doing. The other thing, so not everyone will be able to do that, but if you can, and I'll leave a, a link as to which one I'm actually using, because it has to be this one. It can't be. I wouldn't like to use any other kind because I wouldn't want to try and tape it on there or use a cable tie to hold it on there. You just want something that literally just sits there. It doesn't interfere with anything, but it's thin enough that it can fit in the gap and do its job. So between taking the temperature off there and HW Info, uh, giving me alarms and alerts, hopefully it shouldn't happen again. Now, the only issue is obviously if you're away from your PC and that kind of thing happens, still unsure as to how quickly it can go from being fine to melted is it something which happens over days weeks do you have to play certain games with high draws before it happens or does it just give out now i've run everything through this cable before the adapter came and this cable's been great it's been grand and i've not really seen many people say anything about the cables it all seems to be uh, recently just really focused on the adapters so hopefully uh, with this card it survives so anyway, hopefully this helps somebody along the way. Anyway, bye.